Hey, what's up? This is Scott Talinsky with the Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be leveling up your SAS function skills. So today we're going to go over some functions that are built into SAS. In the next tutorial, we're going to be talking about building your own functions and the power that comes along with that. So for our first example, we're going to do something nice and easy. We're going to take this background color of 333 and we're going to convert it to an RGBA value. And so we're going to pass it a value for the alpha channel and it's going to make it transparent based on whatever percentage we would like it to be. So it's really easy. We're just going to do RGBA and we're going to wrap this in parentheses. And since we have our color value, um, RGBA just needs an alpha channel. So you do 0 0.5 and we're going to save it and check out our CSS and it gives us the RGBA value. Uh, the RGB and then the alpha is 0 0.5. So if we refresh this, you can see that it's become 50% uh, transparent. So this is really awesome. Um, there's actually another SAS function that's built in that's pretty similar, uh, but this is more used to, you know, there's one called fade out, fade in. They also have other names um, out. So if we do fade out, it's actually going to give us the same values. Um, it's basically this one's meant to um, sort of make something just transparent, although it gives you the same output. It's pretty much um, a different idea here behind it. Okay, as you can see here, um, it's gotten 70% transparent now. So the next thing we're going to do is get into something really cool I found on this blog, The SAS Way, which is a great resource for learning new things about SAS. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a built-in SAS function called percentage to take the percentage of two values and uh, use that value in our CSS. The way this can come in handy is uh, uh, let's say your a designer gives you the website design and it's all based on pixels, but you're going to want this design to be fluid and responsive. The way you figure out those percentages for your um, for your containers is based on the container. Uh, well, it's the thing you're trying to get the width of divided by the container. So let's say a designer's given you a layout and it's uh, 1,440 pixels wide, and uh, they want two. Um, they want a, a sidebar on the left and they want the main content on the right, and the sidebar on the left needs to be 550 pixels, and the main content needs to be 890 pixels, or at least that's how it is in the design. Um, however, since you want this to be fluid, what you would do is you would divide uh, 890 by 1440. Um, and a lot of times when working with these values, you're gonna get really, um, long decimals and so you end up writing these percentages in this case it would be you know 61.805556 percent if you want to be accurate um, and you know that's okay but your CSS can get pretty uh, I don't know with lots of decimal points and lots of percentages getting really tight um, it, it might not be super easy if you want to change something later so an easy way to get those percentages that you need uh, is to use SAS and let SAS do the calculations for you. So your CSS stays readable and uh, nice to, and easy to edit later. So um, in our first example here, we're going to take the intro div and the feature div. The intro div is this one right here. Feature one is this one right here. And we're going to give this Okay, let me get some space in here. Okay, we're going to give this one a width of, and we're going to call percentage, and we're going to wrap it in parentheses, and we're going to say, since this is the intro, this is the paragraph we need to be um, 550 over 1440. So we're going to do 550 pixels divided by 1440 pixels, and that's going to be the width of this div. If we save this and go to our CSS, you can see here it's given it a width of 38.194. So it's doing all the math for us and it's keeping it nice and clean. 
and this pretty much always relates back to whatever your uh, original source material was. So let's copy this, paste this here to your feature, and then we're going to say this one is going to be 890 pixels divided by 1440. So if we refresh, you can see they've both now uh, adjusted to their correct size. If we get rid of this border that we have here, save this, and let's float the feature to right, and let's float the intro left. Oh, I have colon here. Okay, refresh, and you can now see that they are perfectly fluid and adjust the container while fitting perfectly into each other at the correct percentage. If you go here, 38.194, 61.806 adds up to 100. Um, you know, looking at your fractions here, adding 550 to 890 is a lot easier um, than adding these two percentages, or it's a lot more simple, I guess, to look at. Also, Another cool thing about these built-in functions is that you can nest them. So uh, let's say you're the type of person that doesn't even want to deal with decimals in their CSS. If they want to change it, then uh, if you want to change it later in your C uh, CSS, then uh, you don't want to have to deal with those uh, decimals in your percentages. Well, lucky for us, SAS has a round function. In fact, they have a couple of round functions. But the one we're going to use is simply just round. And we're going to wrap this percentage in round and then wrap it in another parenthesis. All right, we're going to wrap this one. So what's this going to, this is going to round this to the nearest whole number. And since this is a percentage, it's going to give us, it should give us 38 and 62. If we refresh, we shouldn't see much of a change here because it's still um, basically the same percentage difference. And as you can see, they both still add up to 100, and they're both still fluid. If you want to learn more about SAS functions that are built into SAS, check out the uh, on SAS, saslang.com, the docs in the script functions. Um, this will give you sort of a resource for all the built-in functions within SAS, and also what parameters they take and sort of how to use them. It's a really great feature. If you check this out, um, I'm sure you'll learn a lot about how functions work in SAS. Well, all right, that's it for this tutorial. Um, in the next one, like I said, we're going to be going over making your own function and uh, how powerful that is. Um, feel free to subscribe. You know, if you want to see more, uh, if there's anything, any questions you have about, you know, what we're doing or what you want to learn or anything, you know, feel free to leave a comment, send us a message, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Uh, once again, this is Scott, and thanks for watching. Bye.